Iran and Russia have deepened their military alliance and are working on building joint drone production lines, British and US intelligence have warned. The Ministry of Defense said that the Kremlin was now wholly reliant on Iran to top up its supplies of missiles and drones. Iran's support to the Russian military is likely to grow in the coming months. Russia is attempting to obtain more weapons, including hundreds of ballistic missiles it said. It comes after the US said that Iran is now Russia's top military backer. Russia is seeking to collaborate with Iran in areas like weapons development, training, U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby said on Friday, adding that the U.S. fears that Russia intended to provide Iran with advanced military components, including helicopters and air defense systems. Russia has so far relied on Iranian drones to bolster its dwindling supplies of missiles after nearly nine months of war and has been deploying them to destroy power stations and other civilian infrastructure in Ukraine. Iranian drones, the Shad-136 is the most common, are cheap to produce and have a long range. Russian technicians have repainted them as geranium too to try to disguise them, and Iran has denied supplying Russia, but testimonies and reports from Ukraine have confirmed the deals. Now an unnamed security official has told the Washington Post that Iran had agreed to send 6,000 drones to Russia and to supply designs, as well as technical supervision, for the planned Russian drone factory, which is expected to be located in the Tatarstan region. On top of this, the source said that Russia would pay Iran $1 billion, in addition to still unknown inducements. Iran is also to receive top-of-the-range fighter jets from Russia within the next year in exchange. Biden administration officials said on Friday that Iranian pilots were already being trained in Russia on how to fly the Sukhoi Su-35 fighter jet. Downing Street and the White House warned that the new sordid deals amount to a large-scale military partnership between Tehran and Moscow. Russia and Iran are under tough Western sanctions, and their anti-West positions have deepened. They have worked closely previously, undermining Western strategy to unseat Syria's President Bashar al-Assad. Its alliance with Russia also comes at a time when Iran's government is facing internal protests, and the British Ministry of Defense said that in return for its drone expertise and ballistic missiles, Russia is offering the Iranian regime access to its highly valued defense industry. Russia is highly likely offering Iran an unprecedented level of military and technical support that is transforming their defense relationship, it said. Moscow's turn toward Iran for armed drones confirms that Russia has previously underinvested in its uncrewed aerial system, UAS. Despite this, Russia maintains a large and capable industrial base, and the production deal will grant Moscow greater control over the manufacturing process and possibly allow it to expedite and increase production of these simple but effective weapons. An alternative Iranian drone production facility in Tajikistan, inaugurated by Iran's defense minister in May 2022, has unknown production capacity, and much of that factory's output may be destined for other recipients, such as Iran's regional allies and other armed drone customers, such as Sudan and Ethiopia.
the financial terms of the production deal have not been reported and likely constitute a mix of cash, in-kind payments, and other promises of assistance from Moscow. Both countries are subject to sweeping US and European sanctions, and the extent to which Russia is able to provide Iran with hard currency payments for the drone production agreement is unclear. As an alternative, Iranian leaders may seek additional Russian assistance to boost their nuclear program. Maintaining Russia as a partner may also help in circumventing sanctions that hinder Iran's ability to acquire components and other goods for its advanced weapons programs. Several days after the reported production deal was reached, a key Russian hardliner, Secretary of the National Security Council Nikolai Patrushev, visited Tehran. According to Iranian and Russian media, Patrushev discussed Western sanctions and interference against both Russia and Iran, with his counterparts in Tehran. The more than two months of protests in Iran, during which Iranian authorities have killed more than 400 demonstrators, have derailed any realistic prospect for Iran to achieve sanctions relief through an agreement with the United States to resume full compliance with the 2015 multilateral Iran nuclear deal. Iran also undoubtedly is looking to Russia to keep forces in Syria, despite Russia's urgent need for personnel to deploy to Ukraine in order to ensure Syrian President Bashar al-Assad maintains his grip on power.